we are, fuck, what are we, five weeks out? Yeah. So we are five weeks out today. Well, it was five weeks out yesterday. Um, I really wanted to film for you guys on Monday when I had my high carb day, but whilst we were away, it was just too difficult um, and I just could not be bothered to say the least. I was very, very exhausted while we were away, um, but it went really well. So well that we now have to try something else to get me softer. So basically the whole reason for trying the big carb up was so that I could get soft because they want a soft look this year. And if anything, I looked good, but I looked so vascular that it kind of did the opposite of what we were trying to do. So now we are doing a fat load. So we're doing a three day fat load followed by a four day carb load. So it's kind of like a mock peak week. I'm training 50% intensity, no cardio this week, still doing all my training. Um, but yeah, just training 50% intensity. So training like super lightweight this week and eating very interestingly. So every meal that I'm having, today so i think yesterday oh, dropped this uh, yesterday my fats were at 100 grams today they're at 120 so each meal taylor wants me to have my meals perfectly even regarding my macros so each meal consists of 28 grams of protein 24 grams of fat and 20 grams of carbs. So my first meal of the day, I've already started pre-making. So I'm having a omelet with whole eggs, which is oh, so good because I never eat whole eggs because my fats are usually very, very low. Um, so that consists of three eggs, three meals of ghee butter. And I am, oh my God, I need to put the mushrooms in there. <laughs> I, need, I need to add the mushrooms in there. Anyway, um, I've got 40 grams of mushrooms, 40 grams of zucchini, 90 grams capsicum, 250 grams of tomato, and 200 grams of cherry tomatoes. And I'm going to top it with eight grams of ABC spread as well. So uh, tomorrow, my fats increase again to 140. And then the next day, I believe my protein goes to like 120. My carbs are at like 300 and fats is down to 30. So we're doing a lot of manipulation this week. I'm drinking five liters of water as well. Uh, so yeah. We're just going ham. We're trying all new things at the moment, which is exciting because I'm now at a conditioning, like I'm at a level of conditioning where now we can try these things leading up to show day. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. So I felt quite fatigued yesterday, but surprisingly the fats, because they are the slowest digesting macro, they did keep me quite full, which is good. But I'm very glad I don't have to train at high intensity because I feel like without the carbs, I just would not be able to do it. Um, but this morning I woke up 8.6 kilos lighter than my heaviest weight last off season which doesn't sound like a whole lot but i didn't really get that big my last off season um so we are getting small but i feel like there was more i had to update you with i say this every single time <laughs> but this morning we are going to go for a nice walk today is sunday so we typically go for walks thursday sunday morning because we have the same routine it's so lovely so we just get up go for a nice walk go to the beach so i think we walk for maybe like an hour get a nice coffee um and then we just go about our day today i would usually have a rest day but taylor wants me training on particular days so that way i'm like absorbing the nutrients and everything better so unfortunately i have to train today while liam has the rest day uh, but that's fine 50 percent intensity i'll get it done pretty quickly anyway so I will film my workout for you. So today is leg day. I feel like I haven't filmed for a couple of weeks now regarding my sessions, so apologies. So thank you for your patience. But yeah, that is pretty much all. I'm going to put my omelet in the oven while we go for a walk, just turn it down and probably put it on for like a 40 minute timer. So that way it is ready for me when I get home. But that is all from me. I will see you in a little bit. All right, we are back from our walk. So I had the oven on like, 175 and i had the timer for like 40 minutes because i just didn't want it to burn and we're back and it's not even cooked so fuck my life rest in peace, rest in peace. so we're waiting a little while liam is having you having a cream of rice mm -hmm. liam is having a lovely bowl of carbs um but i'm just gonna wait for that to cook i might do some client check-ins in the meantime maybe go what should we do grocery shopping client check-ins yeah, grocery shopping bit of, bit of chicken, bit of grocery. wow that's cooking well, we are going to just keep busy in the meantime. Liam's going to prepare his first meal. I might do a client check-in or two, wait for that to cook, have my first meal, and then we're going to go get groceries. And then I'm going to plan my macros for the next of the day because obviously my um, carbs will be increasing from 
Tuesday, Wednesday onwards. I don't know, it's four days of the week. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday. <laughs> uh, so I will be planning out my macros and stuff, mapping that out. Yeah, busy day today. I feel like my days off are always fairly busy. Mm. I say that every time as well. I say the same shit on every single vlog. Yeah, can't stop it. Yeah, and I'm always like, okay, I've got nothing more to talk about, and I'll just keep going. No, that, that's noisy. Anyway, I'm going to do some check ins. So that is meal one. So we've just got a random dollop of ABC spread there, a little bit of salt. So basically how I cooked this is I just put it in like a silicon cake round dish thingy and then just plop it straight onto my plate. So I'm going to enjoy this and then probably get some groceries and probably go to gym because I did want to, I did want to go about midday and now it's nearly 11. So probably just going to go after this meal. And yeah, Liam has got a yummy bowl of cream of rice. Let's see? Oh, yum. I like that looks good. All right, we're gonna enjoy this. Okay, we are home from the shops and I don't know like if I'm getting sick or if it's the low carbs or something, but I feel like death today. Like I literally said to Liam, if anyone comes up to me in the gym that I know today, I'm just gonna tell them, please no talking today. Cause I'm like, so tired but i'm going to show you what i got from the grocery store so this will be like a sneak peek into my next youtube vlog so you guys are very lucky a little sneak peek um i did pick up like a whole bunch of herbs and spices because i use a lot anyway so i've got some paprika some salt we have got cumin and some basil there if that's gonna focus is it gonna focus eh whatever uh we have got oregano and some cinnamon as well i did want to pick up some chives oh my god it's not focusing whatever um did want to pick up some chives but they did not have any got some pasta sauce so i'm going to have like a prawn spaghetti when i'm on my car box picked up some bananas and just some capsicum so that will be for my omelet in the morning we have got some gluten-free spaghetti so this one is like the lowest fat that I could find because when I'm carving up my fats are extremely low and then I've got some frosties which I am so excited about because Liam used to eat these all the time when he was bulking and I'd always be so jealous uh, and also these are like the lowest protein lowest fat highest carb um, cereal that you can get and just considering my protein and fats are low I needed something to kind of suit that uh, we have got some more zucchini so that is for my omelet tomorrow morning and then picked up some other stuff as well. So we've got some lettuce and salad mix. So that's for my next couple of meals today. Got some spinach. So that will be for my pasta meal. Got some cherry tomatoes again for my omelet and for my pasta. And then I'm having some prawns. So that will be for my prawn spaghetti in a couple of days time and some more chicken as well so i'll be having chicken rice with that meal which was on special so that is amazing so i'm going to head to the gym now get it done uh, i'm going to do it the old school way i'm not going to talk to the camera while i'm training i simply just want to get it done today <laughs> so i'll do it old school way i put some music over the top and i will see you in there Cruise 
Alrighty, so I'm home from the gym. Very glad I ended up showing up because I was feeling really awful. Like, I don't know, I yeah, I just was not feeling good and I was this close <laughs> to not showing up. But I'm so glad I did. I got it done super fast. Um, I only saw one person I know, <laughs> so it wasn't too bad. Uh, but I just kind of kept my head down, just got it done. The good thing about 50% intensity is like my rest times are super short and I don't have to do heaps of warm up sets. So I just got it done within like maybe 65 minutes and just did about 12 minutes worth of posing practice and actually got a little bit emotional. Like watching my video back, I just, I don't know, I felt like proud because I know how far I've come. And I think it's the days like this when you really, really struggle, when you really don't want to show up, but you still do, like you have to really reflect, reflect, reflect and just take a moment and be proud of yourself. And like, I think we're just always so caught up in being so busy and criticizing ourselves and doubting ourselves that we forget to reflect about how far we've come. So yeah, it was weird. I just got a little bit emotional. Um, but anyway, I am here, I'm home now. So I've just got my potatoes in the oven, oh, sorry, in the oven in the microwave, prepared my salad, so I will show you what I'm having. Okay, my taties need a little bit longer, but my step target is only, it's a little bit tilted. Um, I'm only allowed to hit 11K today, and I'm already at 11.8, <laughs> it's 2 p.m. So Taylor, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit of a crackhead, I can't keep still. Um, so we are reducing the intensity over the week as well, because that's kind of what you do in peak week. You just kick your feet up, Try and fill your body with carbs or fats in this case right now. Um, but yeah, so my step target yesterday, so usually it's 15K. Yesterday it was 13, today's 11. And then I think it's nine. And then I think it's seven for the remainder of the week. So I've got to try and chill, <laughs> zen, less walkies. But I'm like a little Labrador. Like I get so excited for my walkies. But I'm just going to have to find something else to do. Oh, fuck, waiting for food just feels like fucking forever. But after that, I will be doing some client check-ins. My meals, so my next three meals today are all the exact same. So I'm just going to show you this one and then I'll show you my last meal. But as I mentioned, the macros for every single meal are the exact same. So that way the fats and everything is like filling my body evenly throughout the day, if that makes sense. So I believe I said 28 protein, 24 fat and 20 grams of carb. So it's a salad, <laughs> so that way I feel like I'm eating more. Lunch time! There we have a big old bowl of no carbs. So we have got, I'll read it for you. <clears throat> As I said, the next two meals after this are going to be the exact same, exact same, same, exactly the same. I don't know, I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> um, so we have got 150 grams of like a family blend salad. So it's got like carrot, cabbage, lettuce, 65 grams of pure lettuce, 145 grams of potato, raw weight, 40 grams of ABC spread and 65 grams of raw weight chicken breast. So that is my meal. It's actually quite nice to be honest. So that is my next meal. I will probably not see you to my last meal because I can't be fucked talking. I need a meal prep and stuff as well. So. I will see you when I see you next. And that is last meal, about to slap. Oh, it looks good. So there was a little slight change in plans with that meal. So it would have been, I can't even remember what it would have been, but it would have had my ABC spread, but I actually ran out and the shops are shut now. So I use some of Liam's uh, peanut butter and it's got Greek yogurt, coconut, cinnamon, blueberries, maple syrup, and then like this brown sugar, trivia stevia stuff um, just to sweeten up the yogurt but i'm gonna enjoy this so that is my last meal and then i'm going to finish the night off with my trusty adrenal switch so i have that every single night before bed just to help me sleep help me recover but other than that that is all from me so thank you guys so much for watching i've had a couple of people come up to me in the gym and tell me that they have been watching so i truly truly appreciate you guys but that is all from me. I hope you all have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one.